welcome to the Weekly Intuitive Art Studio. I'm so glad you're here. Today, we're gonna do a little bit of exploration around doodles and just kind of following our intuitive urges with that. So, let's get started. I am not gonna tape my page today. I'm just gonna leave it plain like this. And I'm gonna start by putting um, just swaths of paint down. That feels like the right thing for me. I think I'm gonna start, I got this acrylic um, Windsor & Newton pale rose blush recently and I think I'd like to start with that. So I'm going to just make a few little smudges. I like putting my paint directly on the paper sometimes um, and sometimes I like using my palette. It's totally up to however you're feeling in the moment. I'm not wetting my brush before I use it. I'm gonna use it dry. And I'm gonna see. And just smear this out a little bit into some shapes. So I'm wondering how your week's going. Mine's going really well. We have some beautiful weather. We went camping, which I love being in nature. So that was oh, just so magical. especially winter camping because you know it's just kind of cold and while that would seem like a deterrent it's just kind of nice to be this is gonna sound ridiculous it's nice to get uncomfortable sometimes because then you come back home and just have this greater appreciation for all of these modern conveniences that we all have All right, so it looks like this is kind of panning out in my mind to be four, I think it's gonna end up being four different pieces. Um, just not tape between them and a little bit more maybe organic shapes. I think that's where we're headed here. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I still, I still cannot figure out how to keep my camera from shaking. It's so funny to me because the table's level. I think it's just part of life. So I'm, I apologize. All right, I'm gonna take my paper towel and I'm just going to I think, get a little bit of the extra paint up. I always love using a paper towel. It adds a little bit of texture, but it also allows me to move quickly, which is something I enjoy. Some of you may have more time and space and patience and you might wanna just give it a minute to dry. Totally up to you. All right, so now I'm thinking, I have this Jenkins green and I'm thinking I wanna use it, but maybe super watered down. So I'm gonna add a bunch of water to it. That just kind of feels like where I wanna to go today. It's always fun um, to, to play with the different consistencies of paint. Add more water, add less water, use a dry brush, use a wet brush. Um, you can just get so many curious different results. And I mean, I just love the idea of being playful. Cause see now we hit, this is a little bit more transparent, which is just kind of fun. You know, it adds a little bit of um, depth to it, a little bit more um, interest. I think I've told you this uh, probably several times now, but my kids have a water bottle that says, perfect is boring. And I couldn't agree more. I'm always like, how can we make this more interesting? Usually it's with, um, you know, feeling texture, or feeling different um, sizes, of different shapes, different, um, just different ways of thinking about it. Because if we are always trying to do it perfectly, then we never get the chance to explore and find out what might work well. I think the most fun thing about intuitive art is that there's no plan. It's just unfolding as we're sitting here. 
And that's the kind of creativity I think we all need in our life. I mean, there's many ways to be creative, but to be able to be creative without an agenda, um, just for the sake of creating, now that's special. I really am loving this um, consistency. Those colors together are very exciting to me. Looks like I'm feeling um, threes. One, two, three, one, two, three. So exciting. All right, I'm gonna give this just a second. This is me, this is me attempting to let it dry a little bit. Um, and of course, I will not be able to wait the full amount of time, so I'm going to take my paper towel and look at the texture I get by doing that. I just am obsessed. Oh, it's so fun. Look at it go. So, um, a little bit about what's going on in my life while we create is every year I take one of my children on a trip. I only have two children, two boys, and they get to pick the trip, and we plan it together, you know, based on budget, and um, it's always so great to bond with the kiddos in this way. It's just really, really special. Um, so later this week, I'm taking my youngest son. He wants to go to New York City. Uh, so I'm taking him to New York City, and we leave Thursday and we'll be back next Tuesday and I'm really nervous usually we do more nature themed um, trips and this will be kind of our first urban adventure um, which is so funny because I would feel more comfortable camping you know in the Everglades than going to the big city but we're gonna do it anyway So I'm using this ochre color. I'm just going to add a little, some little colors in here. I think I want a little more water in this too, make it that same transparent. So yeah, he's a very um, kind of theatrical kid. He's only seven, but he really loves to uh, put on a performance for us. <laughs> it's hilarious. He um, likes to be funny and he likes to um, entertain us. So he wants to go see a Broadway show. Um, and he really has a long list of things he wants to do, but I told him, you know, we're gonna have to be mindful of the weather and, you know, our budget. And so I'm, I'm curious to see what we'll get into. So I'll still have a weekly video coming out next week. I'm just going to um, record it before I leave so that you guys don't miss your creative time because this is such sacred time with you guys and I just adore it. I love it so much. It's been so wonderful. I've been getting emails from you guys and comments and it's so just so nice to hear from you that you guys are creating and you're working on making a creative habit and um, I just love hearing how that's going. Just finding some time to be free, just create whatever wants to be created. It's just a really special thing. So the kind of um, like doodly art that's coming out today, this was a style of mine for a very long time. Um, where my journal is. 
Hold on, I'm gonna go get it. Let's see. Um, so when I was doing art watercolor for a long time, I would do um, this same kind of doodly, but with pen, pen and then add watercolor. So fun. Um, let's see the one I'm thinking about. I don't know if I have the correct journal up here, but um, anyway, it doesn't really matter. But just, um, I used to play with watercolor a lot in this way. Just doing swaths of color and then doodling on top. It's just really fun um, and really relaxing. And of course, because it's me, I usually end up doing some botanicals and things like that. All right, I'm going to use my paper towel and get this ochre blotted up a little bit so we can move on. Ooh, now what's next? Thinking I want um, black. Oh, I might use this black paint pen. This is just a cheap o cheap o acrylic paint marker from Michaels. I think there was a pack of like five of them for really inexpensive. So I'm just going to use this for a minute. Maybe do some my signature dashes. Whoops. Some dots. I always like working on several different things at once. Um, I don't know, I think it's just kind of fun and freeing to bounce around. It's kind of a special thing. Because sometimes if I'm working on just one thing, I can get wrapped up in, in the product of it and I really want to keep it free and just kind of keep moving through what feels like the right thing to me. And sometimes I'm able to do that more if I'm not focused on one thing, if I have a little bit more diversity. But of course, this is, there is no rules, right? There are no rules. You just make it whatever you need it to be. We're just creating because we love creating. I think this one wants a wavy line. Sure does. never used paint pens that much in my work, um, so this is kind of different for me. But sometimes I, I really do like the doodling and sometimes a brush isn't what I'm needing, you know? Sometimes it is. So it's nice to have different kind of mediums to play with. Um, in my new Eight week course that I'm putting out. One of the weeks is all about mediums and how different mediums can reflect um, who we are in the moment. So it's important to pick the medium that actually feels like it's expressing who you are. So that's something that, that we explore in that course. Um, this is like a jelly roll pen. It's called Moonlight. It's like a light bluish gray gonna wonder if it's sometimes these don't paint um, draw so well over paint if it's a little bit damp but we'll see what we can get from it also I'm notorious for putting it on wet paint because again with my have a hard time waiting and then it clogs up so that's what was happening there I noticed it was um, paint on the end there we go I don't even know if you can see this in the camera 
but it's just a really light blue. It's just kind of a fun little uh, subtle texture on the screen. these shapes it's just so something about these like um I guess we would call these modern abstract shapes I don't really know it doesn't really matter but um they're just kind of fun because they're so basic not complicated there's no technique we're just like putting these things down and just trying to enjoy the process of it The way this green layered over this pink kind of reminds me of um, like the moon cycle, you know, all the different waxing and waning gibbons. It's really cool. Oh, this color on top of this pink. Ooh, that is gorgeous. <gasps> So again, I haven't been doing um, this mixed media work. I just did for a couple years. Um, and I don't know how I ever lived without it because being able to layer textures and sizes and colors and oh my gosh, it's so much fun. Okay, let's see if we can get this gray on top of a yellow. What might that look like? Oh yeah. that a lot. Oh, I think I'm clogging it up again. Let me wipe it off. It's the constant struggle. Come on, little pin. There it goes. Then I'm thinking, um, oh, you know what I have? This little tiny pen called a lay pen. I think I might want to put some botanicals in here. It's so funny at this stage, I definitely have, if I'm ever doing multiples like this, I definitely will start really being attracted to one or two of them. And the other two will kind of feel less exciting. Um, I think that's just part of the experience, right? So I'm noticing that I'm really attracted to these top two. Something about these shapes is just really nice to me. And I don't know if it's like this balancing thing I have going on or the way they're stacked. In any case, um, they're interesting to me. And I notice that I'm feeling less interested in these bottom two, but I'll keep adding to them anyway because um, I feel like that's really good in work with our intuitive art is just to kind of continue even when it's not natural or not not um, coming easily to us. Alright, I'm going to test this color over here. So I've never, I don't think I've used this before. Okay, so it's like a darker, it says olive green on here, It's but it's, it's definitely darker. Um, so I'm going to, yeah, let's do this. You know what, what if these are little flowers? And it's just like an upside down bouquet. Ooh. Oh, that's exciting. Um, I don't know if all of you are on my mailing list. You may not be because YouTube, um, kind of stands alone you know it has these videos and people really like to do the videos but they may not know that I have a whole website so I have a whole website it's thecompasswild.com and if you want to get on my mailing list I'm always sending out like freebies and like what ticks what's coming up because I'm developing online courses and stuff like that so if you're interested you could go over and um, check that out 
right now I have um, my eight week journey that I'm doing. That's it's like it's one on one coaching is what that is. So there's a limited space available. Um, and then I have a, the soulful creativity class, which is um, just an online workshop. And then um, there's also access to all these videos on my website for people who um, prefer it that way. Ooh, this is exciting. Look at these. Like, what if that's flowers and they're just vertical lines? That's really cool. I really love that. Okay, I'm feeling the botanical need down here too. So I'm going to actually start on this right one because I'm left-handed and I always smear. But it's hard for me to remember to be mindful of that. There I go, clogging up the pen with wet paint again. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you just got to go for it, right? Whether it's dry or not. Just, I'm just like trying to make my art. Come on. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. I mean, what, how lucky am I that this is what I'm doing today? Just feel like my creative soul is so grateful. If I can spend time, you know, um, creating like this, and also now that I've been making these videos for you guys, I also feel like I'm connecting to people. And I know that we're not in the same place at the same time, but it still feels very much like a soulful thing to me. Like I, like I have a community, which is just such a great feeling. So I love doing this art, but I love it even more that I get to do this art with other people and I love it when you guys let me know how it's going for you I'm not really a pen person but this one is really nice we have a small shop in our town that's so cute it's called Star Fangled Press and they have the most beautiful art in there and they sell art supplies and this is where I got those so it's in downtown Brevard I don't know if you can order online from them or not but you could check it out I know they have a website so you could just google it ooh that one looks that one got real botanically can you guys even see that I think so Okay, now here's this last one. I'm kind of feeling like, what if this was a giant flower? Oh yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Do another one here. What I love about had adding botanicals and nature shapes into my work is that nature isn't perfect, but yet it is so perfect, right? Like nature's not getting it wrong, just things are different. Sometimes plants have funny shapes and sometimes they don't. And um, I just feel like it's a really forgiving thing to try to draw because there really is no right or wrong way. It's just out there living its best life, doing its thing. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this pin away now. And let's see, I think, you know, this would not be complete if I didn't use my gelatos. So this gold one is a favorite and I'm thinking that I might, um, let's see. Wait, these aren't gelatos. That's what I would just call them, put them in my woody sticks. Just gonna add some like color and texture around the edges. Might get a wet brush out and smooth it down. Okay, 
Get a little crazy with it. Why not? This is really beautiful. It has like this shimmery effect to it, um, which the others don't have. No, I don't have any other that. Well, I do have the silver that also shimmers a bit. So you can see the light reflecting. It's just kind of a beautiful thing to add in. Alright, and then I would definitely like to use a green. I'm thinking this lime green. That might be fun. I'm thinking to sharpen it though. these beautiful look at this <laughs> it's because they're so huge they're so pretty <sighs> All right. this lime green oh yeah that's exactly what needed to happen it's interesting it's almost like flower pots or something Oh, I really like that over these black dots. Okay, just going wild. I'm going wild, doing it. So fun when you start layering textures. I think when I first started being creative, um, you know, it was very much like, I'm just going to use the one thing and I'm doing the one thing. And now it's just like, what else can I fit on this? I get so excited. Adds so much depth and interest to, to layer it and get the different textures going. Oh, this is feeling good. Okay, so I cannot not use my gelato, especially when I have all this green going. As you guys know by now, green is my favorite color. I um, keep meaning to upload, I don't know if you guys would be interested or not, pictures of my, um, like some more of my space because it's just green everywhere. I have tons of plants in my living room with a green couch. I'm just really into green. Such a joyful color to me. I just love the way these two are, are feeling. I might cut them out and make cards for someone. Um, okay, last thing I think I want to do is this. Um, I'm going to use this darker pink color. What color is this of my woody stick? Oh, it's number 880-301. It doesn't say. Yeah, I don't know. I just put some of these petals, some pink in the petals. And let's see. Oh, this is so fun. I'm gonna use this light pale blue pen. See? Um, me and these pens, come on. <laughs> there it goes. This side of my book has always got weird things on it. You know, it's like, um, Sometimes I'll write down like the different supplies I used on that side if I um, want to be able to try to make those combinations again. And more often than not, it's just me scribbling because um, 
I need to get my pen working when I do use pens, which is not very often. So this one's ending up being like a three-tiered planter <laughs> with like this droopy plant on top. <laughs> and that's kind of wild. I kind of love it. Let's see. I feel like this one also wants some droopies. I don't know if it's going to draw though on these. I have these wax. Um, yeah, I have these wax pins on there, so it's not going to work. Let's see if I can... Um, get a different something. Sometimes I forget that, you know, with intuitive art, you're just kind of going by the seat of your pants and figuring it out as you go. And, um, you know, I'm not so worried about what's working or not. Let's see if this colored pencil will work. Maybe so. Oh, that, that does better. Yeah. But, you know, certain material won't, won't layer on top of other materials. So if I put down something super waxy, you know, my pins stop working as well. Um, and sometimes that's great because you get these interesting effects, but sometimes you like just want it to show up. So you have to just get flexible and try something different. So as you can see now, this colored pencil is working. It's working fine. This is interesting. It's like an upside down <laughs> plant. That's so funny. Okay, I think I feel finished for today. It's kind of funky and bizarre, but that's what I'm here for. Okay, I hope you have a great week, and I can't wait to see you again soon. Bye!